All right, what day is it, bud? Today is day 47. Um, today we got the, the gear shift um, out, got all that out, and we came back under the car, under the transaxle, and took out four to eight bolts. Um, and what you see there is we kind of made a little contraption to lower the transaxle because we don't have a transmission jack, we just have a jack. So we kind of built a little wood and yeah, we just built that, so. So we're doing all this to get the transaxle out, right? Well, yeah. we want to take the transaxle out so we can take the fuel tank out. So that's why we're doing all this. And we're following, there's a bunch of good videos on removing a transaxle on a 944 or a 924S. There's one guy, the Spencer Dog something YouTube channel. Um, he's got some great videos on this, the two part. And, uh, but there's a bunch of other good ones too. And of course the Clark's Garage instructions. So part of that is getting the gear shift linkage out of there and then from up here, pushing it forward as far, far as you can get that bar to go so that it'll come out. And uh, yeah, I think, you know, all we got left is to remove where the transaction actually connects to the, to the wheel, like shafts, the rear wheel drive shafts and uh, body. Yeah, and then the, obviously the main bolts holding it up to the cross member. Mm -hmm. But those bolts, we didn't realize this, but those bolts are actually like a special kind of... Uh, They're called cheesehead bolts. Yeah, cheesehead uh, screws or, or triple square, I guess is what some other people call them. So, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can... Uh, can you turn the light on, Trey? Uh, I think I might unplug the dial. Um... That's right there. Those little bolts all the way around. You're on the wrong side though, bud. But my camera's over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those bolts right there. That's not regular Torx or Allen or Hex. Any anything you got in your toolbox. So we gotta go run to the store and figure out what that is. But other than that, I think we're gonna be ready to drop this sucker out. And we took out the heat shield that was on top of the muffler. Yeah, that's right. Charlie got all that stuff out. All right, good job, bud. We're making progress. Mm -hmm. When well, next step will be the fuel tank after we get that thing out. Yep. All right, buddy. What you got for us today? Uh, today is day 54, and we didn't make a video yesterday, which was day 53. But mm -hmm. day 53 is when we got this sucker out. Yeah, this what is, is that? This is the gearbox, I think is what you would call it on a manual car. Transmission or, or transaxle? Transmit, yeah. We got that out, which was right under the gas tank, um, which we need to get out. So, this is it. Yeah. Took a while, but we got, I guess you would call those CV joints, or at least that's what we think it's called. <laughs> um, you had to take those out, and the uh, rod that goes all the way to the front. Torque tube? Torque tube. And the gear shifting rod that goes also to the front. Yeah, so we got everything disconnected. And uh, we did have to cut this plastic pipe, that annoying pipe that everyone talks about is such a pain. Uh, sorry, this one. Um, we just got a hacksaw in there and cut it out because it was, it's such a pain to try to get out, especially if you're trying, doing it, trying to break it. So, <clears throat> got that out. And next step is gas tank. So, mm -hmm. so that was day 53. Day 54 today, we just, uh, we're doing a whole bunch today. Uh, the company that we bought uh the led lights from a long time ago we were putting in led yeah. lights super leds.com i think super super yeah. <coughs> super bright leds.com <coughs> so the other side well we had first tried these um lights which aren't that bright but they were <coughs> fine and then we had found some that are a little bit brighter and we put it on both sides and that side worked and this side didn't so we're like, oh shoot, I guess it's a bad bulb because this one works and the one doesn't. So we sent it back and then they tested it and said, oh, it's fine. And then we got the exact same bulb. They said, well, back. you might need to turn it around the other way because it's, it's, it's polarity sensitive. <clears throat> the LED, it doesn't work. And so we said, well, maybe we should, didn't try it right. But we tried so they it. shipped it all the way back here for the third time. <laughs> yep. And we tried it both ways 
a couple of times and it still does not work and this mm. one does yeah and the old that, so. that other led bulb works fine and the bulb from the other side when you bring it over here works fine the same exact led bulb so it's clearly something wrong with the bulb and we'll ask the company to I don't know, refund us or send us a new bulb. I don't know why they sent us the same bulb back, but they claimed that they tested it and it was working. So I don't, I don't know what to think, but we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, bud. All right, bud. <laughs> what day is it? Today is day 94. We yeah. had a bit of a skip in yeah. our day making videos. We didn't do anything for quite a while. Yeah, we kind of took a little bit of a, a breather break, but we're back. And we're today we took our calipers that have been sitting in this box for a long time. Um, we finally rebuilt them and put them back on here. You'll notice we also spray painted this little flat debris shield kind of thing and got new rotors that we installed. Some new rotors. Uh, we installed new... We rebuilt the brakes. So it's the same cylinder, but we redid all the rubber seal inside and the Obviously rubber boot. Obviously, painted the red. So yeah. Awesome. Um, and we siliconed over where the speedometer cable comes out. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we did the other side also. Oh, another thing to mention we got the charger. <laughs> yeah, so we got some Nissan Leaf parts that we're hoping are going to work, but we have not decided what we're going to do with all this yet. But we got a differential gearbox. And an inverter and a motor and the charger. There's the other wheel we we're working on. So yeah, we did get some stuff delivered, but <clears throat> not really sure which controller and which battery we're going to use yet. So uh, Charlie wants to go ahead and put the wheels on to see what it looks like, and then we're going to get the car moved out the way so that we can set up a table and start doing like electronics, motor checkout stuff. Right, bud? Yep. All right. Good job, man.